What is up? It is Sunday, the day after the zip tie drags and the hoopty challenge. And uh, I kind of just want to hit you guys with an update because we didn't make it with the pacer. Um, it was kind of a bummer. We got really close. And honestly, I just didn't film because I was working so hard. I got up so early. Like, I think I got up at like 3.50 or 4. Uh, I went to bed late. And it was just one of those situations which I think a lot of you guys are really, really chill about me making videos and updating you. Well, it was just so difficult because I was trying so hard to, to finish. So I got pretty far. We had an issue with the windshield. Um, that was, I wouldn't say the main issue because I think the trans is pretty gushy. I got to drive it around a little bit, but it definitely feels like the one that I chose out of the many Turbo 400s that I have was probably not good. Um, the <laughs> I'm being watched. But uh, Katie helped like crazy. Uh, everyone gave it a solid effort, in obviously including myself, but all of the people who support me, James helped me, uh, shit pile offered to come over and help. Uh, Dylan, you know, every, all my friends, you know, thank you guys so much for offering to come and help. Uh, hey, that's how it is. That's life. And uh, this isn't anything other than me just sharing portions of my life with you and shit happens. I tried to make a goal that I had and it didn't happen, but that's okay. Uh, the car is still most of the way together and now I have kind of a, a good basis. Unfortunately, there are some things I'm going to have to go back and kind of redo that I think I'm not, I wouldn't be super comfortable with continually racing the car. Um, meaning like how I was telling you my welder's not uh, beefcake enough to be doing some of the things I was doing. It's kind of unsafe. Um, and I was knowingly doing it, which is not a good idea, but uh, <laughs> that's, how, that's how it goes. I'll, I'll show you really quick uh, what was happening with the uh, windshield. It's something that, I mean, it's gonna make sense to you. It's nothing rocket surgery wise. Uh, you had to get some nice thick stuff otherwise it's gonna blow in on you so when you get the thicker stuff you really need a, a good heat gun to get it to to lay down um, and that's one of the issues I'm starting to have is my skills have finally come up a decent amount over the years but um, a lot of the tools that I bought are very entry-level tools um, a lot of Harbor Freight stuff and it it starts to bite you in the ass when you're doing um, especially when you're doing quick jobs, but when you're doing, trying to do more quality work or trying to actually just get legitimate stuff done. Like you see here, basically what happened is I was being mostly impatient because, you know, I knew I had a timeline and I didn't have a heat gun, couldn't borrow a heat gun, everyone was busy. So I started just trying to, trying to ease, bend into it, and then like use the heat gun. Wasn't enough, it cracked. And uh, when it cracked, it was kind of one of those things where you feel a little bit more like almost freed from something because as soon as I got home, I immediately started going to town on this. I got sick. Um, just kind of not, I wouldn't say not fun because pushing, pushing yourself is fun and um, I really have enjoyed it. Uh, it's just kind of those things where I took today and yesterday. We still went out to the zip tie drags. I didn't really film anything. Um, I'm sorry if you were looking forward to that. I, I was too. But uh, we kind of just went out there and enjoyed ourselves. Um, had some fun. Met up with James. Katie and her friend Michelle are out there. I met up with a lot of people uh, that I haven't seen in a while and just talked about car stuff and watched some racing. It was super cool. So, um, oh, I'm sure you'd be interested too. They... The Hoopty Challenge was actually pretty good. Um, a little, I think it was a Nash or a, a Rambler or something. I don't know, it was a littler car, a dude named Justin. A couple of the people that I know knew, knew him. I've never met him before, but he ended up winning. He he went like the best of 11.8. I think it was like a small block Chevrolet, conventional small block on nitrous. Uh, he kind of did basically the same thing that James did. If you ever watched the Facebook Watch episode where he just had... Um, probably a lot more than most of the people there and he was just watching the other car to see if he had to spray it there was a couple other really fast cars there was a maverick that had like twin turbos on it 
that was uh, I think it trapped like 121. That was pretty good. Um, the one of the, the Camaro L swap Camaro did like I think he trapped like 119, but he was on like street tires. So unfortunately, that's you know you know how street car, street tires go. But yeah, I think he oh he crashed earlier in the day and had some issues. A uh, real nice dude named Richard, local uh, Phoenix guy. But that's about it. Um, really appreciate you guys watching and following along. Uh, we'll still play with the pacer. But next week, I'm going to hop on the Nova. And, uh, well, probably sometime next week, I'll be in the shop. But I'm going to be making more videos because I won't be so rushed. So where it feels like I kind of can't uh, justify it at the, at the moment. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys understand. Uh, but I hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, thanks for the support, and look forward to making some more shit for you guys. Later.